I always imagine things. I, I always, in my life, been like creating stories in my head. What I like the most about Arrow is that now I feel like I have more tools to create. I have no AR experience. I'm not a CG artist at all. I just had ideas. For me, Aero allowed me to step outside of the box. It's something entirely new, I think, is happening with this. Almost all media up to this point has relied on you capturing a kind of asset base and then you passively edit it. But in Aero, you can think as big as the world. The environment matters. With this tool, I'm able to actually grab the character and put it where I want it to be. Being able to add behaviors gives you that flexibility of deciding what appears when in your scene. My favorite feature of Arrow by Floor was the fact that I can draw a path for the animations. All I really had to do was hold down the asset for three seconds and then move my finger around the screen. Ideas that you might have tried in 2D are now possible in 3D. It's like somewhere between movies and sculpture and painting. So you have six layers in a Photoshop collage. It looks great in print. But imagine that collage if you could actually walk into it. You walk into this box and it starts spinning and the sound starts playing. Aero is super unique. Like If you use other software to composite, you don't have the same depth, not even close. And the angle and the movement is much more natural as though you're walking by a real thing. Getting someone's response just being like, what is going on and how did you do that? It's just really fun. Honestly, going forward, Arrow I would consider definitely a tool in how I make work. I feel very strongly that there's a huge potential in this space for creating a new kind of storytelling and drama that we're really just at the very beginning of. <laughs>